So a tabletop sale every Saturday, back aisle. And that is the um, tabletop stall. There's like three, three tables there. <sighs> what are we doing? Like, new plan is we've come to check out the auction house. Well, with Big Dazza as well. What you got so far, Daz? Nothing. Ah. Happy days, and we haven't missed much. There goes Big Dazza. 54, 56, 58, 62. Fucking hell, he's bidding it up. 62 right at the back. Then all you done? 64. 66. 66 on bid. Don't care, this guy. 68 quid. 16657. 1657, thank you. Block number 100. How do you feel about that, Darren? All right, it's a quick turntable, yeah? Uh, announced bid, 42 anywhere. Forty-two pounds anywhere. Selling away at forty pounds. Figures. Forty pounds to number seven one eight and lot number uh, three hundred and thirty is another rule. And I'm straight in at twelve pounds fifty. Twelve bid fourteen anywhere. Fourteen anywhere. Selling away at twelve pounds. Twelve pounds to number three five three zero. Oh no, sorry, one way down. Two four seven. Was Sega's what? Old school handicap. Okay, so we're on from 374 onwards now, and I've got six bid again. Six bid, seven anywhere. Seven no, that's just a screen. That's just a Seven anywhere. Seven away. Any set of ski boots. What brand they are? Look old. Nordica. Lot number 410, uh, both of these guys want it. Yeah, it. What is it, 16 quid? Yeah. <laughs> but all the trainers are going up now. 20 in the back room, 20 pounds, 22. 22 in the main room, 22 on bid, 24 anywhere, 24. 24 in the back room, 26 anywhere. So the way that 24 pounds. What, less than 20? 24 pounds, two numbers. They've just got. 1647. Where's he gone? They've just gone for 24. 1647. 15 bit, 15 bit, 16. 16 on bid. Here comes with his box lock. Right, there's a few more um, auctions that we're not really interested in. So me and Daz, not me and Daz, me and Kaj, because Daz has stayed at the auction house. Me and Kat just come to look at some of the charity shops in the town centre quick and then we'll go back there for some of the other stuff later on that we actually want. Got England versus Scotland, £3.45. It's worth the risk. Not here, build a bear ninja turtle. A fiver. Literally in that charity shop, spotted this. It was underneath the till, and I said to the woman, "Oh, can I have a look at it?" She's like, "Yeah, yeah, sound." I said, "How much do you want for it?" I said, "Oh, you can just take it." I didn't even know it was there, so she gave me it for free. And I don't know if it's decent or not, but I looked on eBay, and there is one listed for seventy-five quid, but there isn't any that's sold. So if anybody knows out about footy cards, is this actually worth seventy-five quid or not? A blue trunk here for a fiver. Which would be a bargain, but it's absolutely been terrorised. It's got all its handle on that on though still, but it's got state of it. Right, so we are now back in the gaff. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly what bits we did pick up, and then that's going to be the end of the video. So what a day it has been today. The original plan was me and Kadji was going to go into Scunfort Town Centre and there was going to be a tabletop boot sale going on. What a load of waffle that was, yeah? Got there, there was literally like three sellers who had tables up and it was setting up, whatever. I don't know if maybe we hung about a bit longer, more people would have turned up, but it didn't look good. So we bounced out of there straight away. Dad said that he was at the auction house, so we went over there, met up with Daz. Uh, first pick up from the auction house, I got this Acer A1, but it's a tablet, an Acer tablet. So I paid £5.90 for this. So I paid five quid for it, and then you pay your um, commission on top of it, which is like 18% or something. So £5.90. The only thing is, obviously, all stuff like this, it's, it's like bought a scene, untested stuff. So I don't know if this is going to work or not. And the, I need to work it out, but the charger... 
is not a charge that I've got. So I need to get a charger for it, which is going to cost me a couple of quid as well. And then get it tested. If this works, um, if it me and Daz had a look while he was at the auction, I'm looking at maybe 20, 25 quid, which is, that's all right. If it doesn't work, worst case scenario, we sell it as spares and repairs and maybe get a tenner or something. So I think either way, I'll get my money back for it, which is whether it works or not. So I need to get that tested and find out. But for six quid, it's not too bad. A lot of the other stuff there was just, just going for silly prices, really. There was loads of people there. I think just because around our area, the weather was shocking and all the car boots were closed. So I think a lot of people just went to the auction house and yeah, some of the bids, pre-bids on it, a lot of the stuff there was just through the roof, really. Like the wrestling figures, to be honest, they was probably still worth grabbing for like 30 odd quid, but I just didn't want to pay 30 quid for them. There was like 30 figures in the box, it would have worked out like a quid a figure. And some of them, like the original 1999, Jeff Hardy, um, Steve Austin, The Rock, stuff like that, they, you would have easily got 10 to 15 quid a figure for some of them. Probably maybe even more for like the Jeff Hardy and stuff. But yeah, I just didn't want to be paying like, and the thing is as well, if that was a pre-bid, as like the first bid, I could have kept bidding and bidding and bidding, and it might have even gone up more to like maybe 40 quid or whatever for all of it, and I didn't want to pay loads of money for it. So yeah, we sat that off. Um, the Game Boy that we seen, literally the pre-bid on that was like 90 quid or something, which again, it would have probably been worth it, but again, I'm not paying like 90 quid for a Game Boy. So it is what it is. Um, we got the Noddy out of one of the charity shots. We put only a quid for this. I mean, hopefully, maybe get like a tenner or something for it. It's an easy bow thing tying back up. Hopefully, we get like a tenner or something for this. Again, worst case scenario, we paid a quid for it. Do you know what I mean? You can go back on the car boot for a couple of quid or something. So, get a couple of quid for it on the car boot. Um, we did get as well this England shirt, but I don't know anything about it. I've looked on eBay and stuff, but I can't find this England shirt anywhere. So if anybody knows anything about this England shirt, I'll flip the tag over. So it has got on it, 2010 Scotland versus England, Tisa Stadium, Baku, Azerbaijan. I need somebody to help me out. I don't know if this is, I'm assuming it's football, because obviously that to me is the, that's the England football team's badge, yeah? But I don't know if it's like a World Cup, a Euro Cup game type thing, anything. I don't know anything. Obviously, it's got a retro feeler logo on it, but I can't, I can't find it anywhere on eBay. I'm going to have to maybe Google search it as well. Um, but yeah, so if anybody know, can give me some information on this and how much to reckon it would sell for, then I would appreciate that. Let me know. I did get off camera, this happy dwarf, obviously from Snow White. It is an official Disney store, so I've still got the tag on it. The tag is a bit bashed up or whatever, but it's official Disney store, which you can't go wrong. And it is also a interactive one. But again, I need to put some batteries in it because I don't know if it actually works or not. So I'm gonna have to get some batteries in this. If this works, then surely that's gotta be some money. I paid two quid for this. And then even if it don't work, someone will probably still buy it anyway, just to have it on the shelf or whatever. Somebody who collects all Disney stuff. So for two quid, I mean, I think it's a pretty good bargain, really. And then this is the thing that I'm the most like, I need to look into this big time. So like I say, we walked into the charity shop. It was one where I got the England football shirt from. And I seen this on the till and I was paying for it. It was like literally just sat underneath the till, like the bottom of it was like sticking out like that kind of thing. I said, oh, what's that football card on there? And she didn't have a clue. She was like, oh, what, what do you mean? I was like, oh, down there, look that. She pulled it out. She just give me it. She's like, oh, yeah, look. And I was like, oh, yeah, so I had a little look on it. Um, the signature on it is definitely written on. It's been like Sharpie penned on. Um, so, yeah, I was like, oh, how much do you want for it? She's like, oh, you can just have it. Uh, I didn't even realise it was there. Just take it. So I was like, oh, thank you very much. Appreciate it, whatever. Come out, took a picture of it, had a look on eBay. There is this exact card with the same kind of signature on, but the signature on eBay is like a little bit more slanted. So it obviously, it's not, it's the same signature, but it's obviously just been like written on a little bit of a different way or whatever. 
but that is listed for 75 quid. There's no solds on anything like this. So I just don't know whether this is legit for a start or what, or if it's even worth that kind of money. Someone could just list it for 75 quid, right? So again, if anybody knows where I can speak to somebody, it will be able to like authenticate the signature for me and let me know if it is actually David Silver's signature or if some idiot's just fucking drew on it with a sharp pen to make it look like his signature or forge it or whatever. But well, this card definitely doesn't come with that on it. So this actual card is just a shitty card, I think. But then it, obviously it's been signed. But this exact same card with this signature on is on eBay for 75 quid. So I need to know if it's actually worth that kind of money. Like I said, I got it for free anyway. I'll be, I'm literally, I'll sell this for like 10, 20 quid. Do you know what I mean? I don't care because I got it for free. But I did actually message the guy who has it listed on eBay. And I messaged him and said to him, oh, I've got that exact same card, sent him a picture of it. I said, the signature's the same. It's just a little bit different in like the way it's written on. Um, I said, can you help me with it? And let me know if like, do you think this is a real signature? I said, and if so, obviously you've got it listed for 75 quid. Would you be interested in buying it? I said, I'll literally sell you it for like 20 quid. Um, and he didn't help me at all. He literally just put, no, sorry. So pff, it is what it is. I mean, realistically, he could think that I'm just a blagger and that I've just got this card seen his listing for 75 quid and just tried forging this signature myself and then trying to sell him it for 20 quid or whatever when it's not real. So, I mean, it is what it is. I don't really blame him, to be fair. But I mean, don't I mean what would be wrong with him just having a look at it and going, oh no, that is real signature. Or, oh no, I don't think it is or whatever, mate. So I need to know. Again, if anybody knows out about this or if anybody can help me where I'll be able to figure out if this is a legit signature or if it's just waffle what some kids drew on or somebody's just drew on to try and blag it as a David Silver signed card, then please help me out. Yeah, because this could potentially be like 50 quid or something that I've just got, that I've just found in the charity shop for absolutely nothing. Or it could just be a load of shit that's worth absolutely nothing. Who knows? Because I don't know. I ain't got a clue. I've never really dealt with football cards or anything. And... I just don't, yeah, I just don't know what it's going to be worth. So we need to look into that. But that is it from me today. Literally, what a day it's been. Like I say, tabletop sale, waste of our time. Auction house was decent. We did have a laugh on that there. It was good. Dad's got a fair few bits. Kadji got, I think, a big bundle of some stuff. And obviously, I got the pad. Um, everything else was just too much price-wise. Auction, uh, charity shops, decent. Got a few little bits. It's just more listings on the store again. I've, if I'm honest, I feel like since I've started doing back on eBay full-time properly, I'm just struggling to get all the stuff. Before, I used to be able to get walk in the charity shop and get a fair few bits. Decent prices, get a lot of listings out of it. And it's coming to that time of year where car boots are closing down. The weather's shocking, so not many are on. So I can't get to car boots as regularly to pick up more items and stuff like that. So... We're just going to have to make do and we're just going to have to keep chipping away at it. We did do some filming for the Goat's Life channel. So we've got a video coming up on that channel at 10 o'clock tonight. So make sure you go and watch that. I had an absolute blast doing that video. Honestly, loved it. Obviously, Kadji and Daz, top lads, really enjoyed it. And just, yeah, I think it's just funny. It was a good video for us to do and I just really enjoyed it. So please do go watch that video. Drop a comment on there. Let us know if you want to see more videos like that or other challenges, what you want to see. Other things like, go try to do this, lads. Go try to do that, lads. And we'll do it. Whatever you guys say, you guys say, go and do this. We'll go do it. That's how we're rolling on that channel, yeah? So that's it from us today. Have a good one. Hopefully, we can get some more content for something tomorrow. If not, we'll be back on Monday. Oh, see you then.